In this video, we're going to focus on how we can filter object that consists of dates in the key item. So on the key value, basically, or the index value. As you can see here, we have multiple dates here, but we're filtering out the dates based on certain condition. Secondly, what is very interesting is as well, here you can see this is not a chronological order, meaning that it is uh, here, not chronological, but here the filtering works accordingly and we'll see it as chronological order exactly nice here. As you can see, 10 and 11 are here at the very end, but they're being filtered out nicely. So let's start to explore how to do this. In this video, we're going to focus on answer one of the viewers question, which is how to filter dates, object, and display them in chart.js. So this question came from one of my other videos about how to filter data from a chart in chart.js. And if you scroll down here, you can see this question came from Rickson Andre Figara. So a special thank you to Rickson Andre. And we had some communication already, and I know that one of your items was missing. And what was really missing was basically the, the or at least the comment going to the date. I couldn't figure out where it was in YouTube, but anyway, I'm going to work on that one because that is a very good question as well. To start off, what we need to do is we need to get our default code. And to get our default code, make sure you go to chartgs3.com getting started. For some reason, Google Chrome gives me this error, although Firefox works fine, but anyway, so we need to get just the default code here so we can start working on our item. So copy the code here and if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video that explains the JavaScript of it. So then what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to paste this in here and then I'm going to cut out the item here and put it in there or the title, save that, refresh, there we are. So now we have our wonderful bar chart. So now let's start to work with the object. The object itself is this time slightly more tricky because this is not about the values but we're going to focus on this on the date so that will mean we need to play around with it so let's start to work first with the constant which will be eventually the date object so I want to give you the name dates and we'll put in here curly braces and what I want to do eventually is I want to replace these two here with whatever we have in here and so let's say we're going to get here four specific days here this needs to be in a string or else it won't work. So we say 2021, and then we can just say um, 12, 12, I guess uh, that's currently anyway, so that's fine. So 12, 12, and then we're going to say here, value of 18. And then we have another one here, let's copy this. And then I'll do it four times. Here we are, the last one will be nine, this will be 12, and this will be six. And this one will be 13, 14, and 15. So once we did this, if we save this and we would copy this and put it in here, and then let's comment out this, save that, let's see what happened because it will it will work. But here's the tricky part. This is not what you think it is. This is not a date at all. And the reason why here is because well, let's change this. Let me make sure that this would be 13. And here we have 12. So I swap them with each other. And if I save this, refresh and look at this here. Now you can see here, it is considered a string. It doesn't see it as what we call a value or a date. So that means we need to eventually convert it into a date. So that will be later on. So how do we filter this? So let's start to focus on filtering so to filter this, what I want to do here now is start to work with an object dot filter. And what we're really doing is the following. So let me explain these steps here. First of all, we have this object. This object needs to become an array because we can filter only an array accordingly. So, so that's what we're going to do. So once we have the array, we can filter. And then what we want to do is we want to create the array for the filtered. So basically this is filtered array with the new values and then we want to convert that array convert it into a filtered object filtered object basically we convert it back into an object in here afterwards so then we have multiple steps here all right so let's start and work on that so we're going to say here object.filter and then here object.filter equals and then here we can just say this is the object 
parameter and we have here the object items parameter and if you wonder what's the object object will basically be this here or at least the object which will be the date that contains all of these values and all these individual values is called the object item so we have these but these are not representing that yet because these are just now blank parameters remember parameters are basically blank we have to insert them with an argument the argument will be defined later on so we have this here and then we're going to say here the following we're going to say here arrow function so we're going to create a function here we say object or object dot from entries and what this really does is basically the end of the last part convert a array back into a object that's this is the last part so we're going to do this here first because once we do that we're going to say we're going to refer back to the object because the object here will be containing all of these items here but then what we want to say here is the following oh sorry not not yet not yet where i'm going ahead of myself i first have to say object with a capital o and dot entries and trees and the reason why we do this is from entries we convert something from an array into an object entries does exactly the opposite convert an object into an array so what we're really doing here now is the first two steps so the last two steps will be nested within everything else because in here it will expect an array so in here we're going to break the object into an array and from that array we're going to filter it so we're going to say here this is get the object and convert it into an array and this object will be just this parameter here it's called object with small letter o and then we say here dot filter why dot filter because dot filter is not allowed on an array so basically we say here convert this into an array and then we can use here the filter array method so what we have this what exactly we want to filter the items itself which would be eventually uh, these individual items here what we call the key and value pair so once we did that we're basically done here we close that and let's see am i missing a parentheses here most likely all right so let's double check here what am i missing so we say here from entries we have this all right we have that one and then we say here, oh, all right, this one is not allowed here. We need to remove that. We had one too many because we have to do the dot filter first. So now we have this and we did all of these items here, but we didn't filter or we haven't yet defined the filtering condition. And the condition will be whatever the date would be. So we're going to say here, the filter condition, it will be constant. Let's say filtered dates or filter dates, doesn't matter. And then in here, what I'm going to say is the following. We say object.filter, which basically refers to this here eventually. And then here we have now the parameters that we're going to define. And the parameters are, or sorry, the arguments. The arguments, because the parameters are blank, but the arguments are the defined values. So we're going to say here, the dates, that is basically this object here. And this object, we say comma, so that's the object. It is now defined as date, and here we have the object items. But what I'm going to do here is what we call an object destructuring. What that means is we're going to split out the item into multiple items, and in this case, we have two specific items. We want to split them out so we can filter them accordingly. We don't want to filter them all together, no, we want to filter whatever we want. And in this case, we want to filter the date, not the value. So we're going to say here, let's say here, date, comma, value. And then we have here, we put in here function expression, and then we say here, we want to filter based on the date, and the date should be bigger than. Now let's say everything above 12 December should be shown. So we say here, we can just copy this, put in here, there we are. So once I did this, let's do it console.log, or maybe console.table, it's even more clear to see, and get the filter dates save that refresh open the developer tab and then we should see here in this object with the table did i do the filter dot table yeah oh for for some for some reason it doesn't show nicely but that's all right am i missing something maybe there you are i didn't save properly so now we have the table and that looks more easier to read you can see here 
it recognizes these. So if I start to do this now here, I let's copy this. Then we have here the date, save that, refresh. But of course, I'm not satisfied. So now it looks fine, you would say. So look, it, it works fine because we remove number 12 and everything is in order. This is not the case. And the reason why it's not the case is if I would put here 15 and I put here 13, save that, refresh, we get this unlogical order here, as you can see here, 15, 14, 13. So let's start to work on that. So what we're going to do now is basically we need to start using the time adapter in Chart.js because we need to read now the time. So to do this, because that's why we have this uh, issue with the chronological order. It just sees it as a string. It doesn't convert it into a date. So we go into Chart.js. Chart.js.org. And then in here, we go to click on ecosystem. And in the ecosystem, we're going to grab here the adapter. So if I scroll down here, go to select here the adapter. And once you are here, you can see here two options, or at least grab these two. This one here is deprecated, so it's not being updated. And I know that Luxon is from the developers of moment.js. And you can use this one, but you're required to put in two JavaScript files, which is fine because it's easier to use, in my personal opinion. But if you only want to have the date adapter, nothing else, having two JavaScript for that is too much. So I'm going to grab this one, date FNS, which is harder to use, but if you only need to have the conversion you don't need to do anything else this is only just adding one javascript file so i'm going to click on this and adding just that javascript file and you're done that, that's why i'm using this so i'm going to scroll down here grab the lower link here in the cdn which says here the chart js data adapter fns the bundle copy that and then we go here make sure that date adapter is being loaded after I repeat after yes after the chart js library why the date adapter has dependencies which are being loaded in chart js first so those this must be loaded first and then this one comes here so if i save this refresh now we have it but of course it's still not functioning the reason why is we need to convert this now into a date and time scale for us because our date and time or basically our date is considered on the x-axis we need to pinpoint the x-axis here we we'll say x-axis Go in here, a comma, and then we say here, uh, type. We're going to indicate the type of the scale is time, comma. Once we did that, we can say here now the time object is being activated because of this, and because this is built in in the JavaScript plugin that we just added. And all we say here now is unit equals day, and that's it. Make sure we have a comma here. Save that. Refresh, and now you can see beautifully it's being organized nicely in the right way. So if you would add up new items here, no matter what their items are or the dates are, as long as they are within range, would be most logical, then we would have them. So let's say here I want to do 11 December, and this will be 10 December, and then we have here 16 December. Save that, refresh, we can see here, all right, we have everything here, 16 December is being shown, but the others are not. Why? Well, the answer is simply because we are filtering based on the date after 12 December. Beautiful. So this is basically the way you can do it. You can also do this with line, but I don't recommend you to do it because you must be then in chronological order. And if I save this right now, refresh, you can see here what happens with the line. It starts to connect in a way because of the order of our item here. Uh, sorry, on this one here, on the filter dates, basically this here. You can see it starts at 15, goes to 14, then 30, and then jumps to 16, which is correct. So that's why having a bar chart is more logical because it will be, uh, it shows it correctly. And that's basically here what you need to know. And this is what you're seeing here, basically, it goes deeper into what we call the data structure. And I highly recommend you to watch the data structure. Understanding data structures is absolutely essential. So that one is very important. Or if you want to understand the uh, how to filter on objects or, or values of objects, for that I have another video as well. I will show it here. Those are probably the best to watch.